Have you ever wondered what your favorite classic rock guitarists sound like up close and personal without a band, without any assistance, without engineers, without high tech gear? What do they sound like when they just plug in and play for their own amusement in the privacy of their own home or maybe isolated alone in the studio without an audience, without a producer or anyone else to embellish their sound? I've done a couple of videos already on this, one on Alex Lifeson, which shows exactly what he sounds like without any effects or even amplification. And I've done one on David Gilmour, which shows exactly what he sounds like without any embellishment. And the results are very surprising to some people in that guitarist is able to retain their signature sound without the benefit of technology. But for those of us who are guitarists, we understand that most of a guitarist sound, anyway, a good guitarist's sound comes from their heart and soul and their fingertips. So I wondered, is this the case for Ted Nugent? Ted Nugent's known as being a riff master and he would consider himself to be an old school guitarist who shouldn't be intimidated by the prospect just playing in the comfort of his own home with stripped down equipment. So is he going to sound good or bad? Well, luckily, we have the opportunity to judge for ourselves due to the fact that during a recent interview on that Jameson show, Nugent picked up his guitar and just started to play it right in the middle of the interview. So let's give it a little bit of a listen, and then we'll talk some more. Yeah, let's get let's get a little yeah little riffage listen going to here. this lick little riffage listen to yeah. this lick I don't I don't write songs I ejaculate them and when I sit down with the guitar <laughs> these kinds of licks come up. That's Ted Nugent playing up close and personal in his home on a podcast with no band and no real studio embellishments. You can see in the background that just has a really small practice amp. And touch is the foundation of the technical aspect of playing. But if you notice what Ted Nugent said before he started playing, it's attitude and heart and soul that does most of the heavy lifting. Now you do have to know how to play the guitar, you do have to have technique, but you're going to have your own type of technique. And along with that, you're going to have your own soul. And so I think that one of the things I continuously stress when I talk about guitarists, and I do a lot of talking about guitarists on this channel, is that those guitarists who show joy and passion and love for the instrument tend to be those that get the best results. So if you go over and watch the video of the That Jameson Show with Ted Nugent on it, you'll see him grinning from ear to ear as he's playing those licks, as he's picking up the guitar, and that joy and passion cannot be bought, it cannot be faked, and once lost, probably can't be recovered. So the idea that someone who's had as long of a career as Ted Nugent has had still has the same passion for the guitar that he had when he started out tells you everything that you need to know about his attitude toward music and tells you everything you need to know about what music has done for his life. So what do we make of the actual playing in that clip? Well, it's standard Ted Nugent riffage. He is playing what comes naturally to him. It's a smoldering combination of blues and heavy rock, and it's reflective only slight of a sound change compared to what he was doing in the early stages of his career. So what I hear there is that he hasn't spent a lot of time trying to learn how to play in a flashy way, but he's retained the roots of what made him want to play guitar in the first place, which is the blues clearly, 
with a bit of the you know southern rock flavor to it. I had heard a, an interview with Nugent recently where he was talking about Van Halen and while he went out of his way to say yes Eddie Van Halen reinvented the guitar and kind of made it new again and created a whole new frontier with the instrument. He also stressed how important the band was praising Michael Anthony for laying down great grooves and having some of the best harmony vocals in the business and praising David Lee Roth as a frontman. So I think what you hear there is a lot of times when people pick up a guitar, the first thing they do is they start playing solo type stuff. They start playing lead scales and showing off their pyrotechnics. And Nugent picked up the guitar and started to play riffs that you would use as the foundation of a song. So I think that's one of the important aspects of his guitar playing, that it's based around songwriting more than flashy lead playing. Anyway, this is what I think, but what really matters is what you think. So if you have an idea about this or any other topic connected to classic or contemporary music, please drop it in the section below and remember to like and subscribe. Also, there's a join button available for those of you who would be interested in supporting the site. If you join, you'll get access to members-only videos, members-only polls, members-only badges, and other cool perks you can see when you click the button. And there is a lot of content in the members-only section, including all the archived content from the channel. So I hope you'll check that out. Also, you can help out the channel by clicking on the Buy Me A Coffee link below, going over to the Buy Me A Coffee site, and making a donation. Every bit helps keep this channel alive. Thanks so much.